So the man in the middle for this Angus Darby is David Munro as he gets set to get this match underway in the Scottish Ladbrokes League 2 here at Lynx Park between Montrose and Forfar. It's the fourth minute between the pair, with already two draws, a 0-0 at Station Park was followed up with a 1-1 draw here at Lynx Park earlier in the season, and that was followed up with a 3-1 victory for Montrose away at Station Park. So it will be Montrose to kick off, and they will go shooting towards the beach end of the ground. Paul Watson was out wide right. To Kami Ballantyne going down the right hand side, and as an aimless ball looking for Matty Smith, but it's all the way back to the goalkeeper Grant Adam for Forfa. Ball's launched forward and now. Forfa trying to make something happen. Lister inside for Swanky trying to find the winger on the overlap. It was David Cox, but it was cleared out by Steves for a corner kick to Forfa, and it comes and. The danger is half dealt with by Montrose, it's whipped back in and headed away by the Montrose defence and it falls out to number 11 Danny Denham for Forfa. Plays it back the way to Travis, launched it forward into the box, it's headed away by Ballantyne, oh as far as Swanky, Swanky gets the crossover, David Cox retrieves for Forfa, gets it across and Jim Lister not far away for the visitors. Now here's a free kick for the Loons. Gavin Swanke into the danger area. It's headed back and it's away by Ballantyne. It was headed back there by O'Brien and Forfa trying to keep the pressure on and they're being forced back here. It's a good play by Masson just forcing back Andrew Munro and it's played back to Adam. Grant Adam always oh, giving the ball away and here's Temple with a chance. What a shot, what a finish! The full 25 yards out there by Chris Templeman. Fantastic finishing there by the former Brecon City striker right into the top corner. The pass back came not at the best timing there for Grant Adam, the former St Mernon Rangers goalkeeper, the left foot clearance and it went straight to the big striker and the right foot shot into the unguarded 4 for Athletic net. Montrose won, 4 for Athletic now. Held away by Paul Watson, Marson trying to help it on and <coughs> away there again and Watson gets the boot in but only half clear. Here's Eddie Malone for 4 for but it's nicked away there by Matty Smith. Matty Smith boring in on the 18 yard box of 4 for it's still Smith. Chance! Oh it's wide of Grant Adams right hand post. What a chance here for the on loan Dundee United striker. Free kick for Montrose, lofted in, headed away by Munro, it's returned there by the Montrose midfielder Webster, but no luck for the, the Mo. and now here's Forfa, going down the left hand side, here's Denham, can he get past Ballantyne, checks back to McLaughlin, inside, back out to Swanky, it's Chester into the path of Cox, and the shot's Charged down there by Steves. Corner kick, Danny Denham. Left footed, out swinging for four for Athletic. And it's headed towards goal and wide off target by Josh Peters. And now here is David Cox going down the right hand side for Forfa. Can I get away from Fraser? And Steves checks back. Travis gets the ball over, it's missed by Lister but not by Denham but his left foot shot is wild and a good 10 to 15 yards past Alan Fleming's left hand post. Here's Gary Fraser for Montrose going down the left hand side, checks back to the skipper Paul Watson, he knocks it down the left hand side again looking for the run of Smith but it's, he's over hit that and it's out for a goal kick to Forfa which Grant Adam Sets to take, left footed goalkeeper dressed in red top, red shorts and black socks of white boots, left footed, goal kick, headed on by Lister, but Montrose deal with that effectively, it's headed back there by McLaughlin, but Masson collects again, here's the goal scorer, Templeman knocks it on to Matty Smith, Smith going down the right hand side, 
and I get away from McLaughlin, he does, and it's back to Webster. Can Webster is evaded to four for athletic challenges on to Paul Watson. Left foot pass goes wide to the number 17, Ian Campbell. Out wide to Gary Fraser. Right foot cross, looking for Smith. Unlucky from Montrose there. That's uh, another goal kick to four for Athletic. And now here's Campbell with a corner kick for Montrose. And it comes, it's headed away by Lister onto Swanky. He's away from Masson, away from the number 11, Smith. And gets it away, but only half clear. Masson onto Campbell. Inside for Graham Webster. Webster, right foot cross pass by Glockler into the box. Onto Gary Fraser. 12 yards out, tries to lay off to Watson. Good defending there by Forfar. David Cox. And now here, Forfar are on the counter attack. Inside. There's a chance. Good save from Fleming to the eye. Josh Peters. And Campbell helps that away. And here's a free kick for Montrose. Campbell to take left footed into the mixer. It's headed towards goal by the goal scorer Templeman, but bread and butter save for Grant Adam. And now Forfa trying to get going again. Swanky misses out to Watson. Masson goes left to Fraser. Fraser taking on Travis. Checks back and knocks it down the left hand side for Campbell. Ian Campbell gets it across into the danger area and it's halfway <coughs> there by Thomas O'Brien. But always far as Gary Fraser. Fraser right foot shot charged down by Malone. It's fallen to Graham Webster going down the, the right hand side and good slide challenge here by Chris McLaughlin. Free kick, Montrose, Ballantyne, headed on by Templeman onto Webster. Webster gets it across, over Smith. Smith can't get past the first defender. Knocks it back to Paul Watson. Watson with a right foot shot. Great save to the right hand side from Grant Adam. Throwing taken quickly by McLaughlin. To Malone, back to McLaughlin. He's got Templeman for company. And square pass to Michael Travis. It's Forfa trying to get out of the traps, but it's half time. And at half time, it is Montrose 1, Forfa Athletic 0. The goal on 7 minutes by number 10, Chris Templeman. An absolute beautiful 30 yard finish. And Forfa get the second half underway. Going from right to left as they now shoot towards the beach end. Uh, Montrose go towards the Wellington Street end of the ground. That's headed back there by Andrew Munro into the, the welcome arms of Grant Adam of Forfa. Thrown by Campbell for Montrose and it's knocked back by Swanke. Looking for the run of Lister, the former Airdrie striker, Jim Lister. Square ball. It's a good chance, Swanke. But it's wide in the end. There's a goal kick to Montrose. And now Cox. Gets it across, looking for Denham, the header. Fleming missed it, and fortunately for Montrose, who did go wide. And a corner kick for Forfa. Swanky hits it down, and it bubbles about. Lister can't get it shot away. Good clearance by Watson, and then completed defending there by Steves. That's away. Well, it's into the box by Swanky. Denham hits it back. Great save once again by Alan Fleming. As Montrose. Keep their one goal advantage. Corner kick flighted over. Ball just bobbling about, and here's Thomas O'Brien, and it, oh, it does come off. Alan Last. And now here's Montrose Masson. Launches it forward, headed back by O'Brien, but it's cut out there by Smith, and great save there by the former Rangers goalkeeper, Grant Adam. Corner kick for Montrose, and it comes. So Campbell headed towards goal and cleared off the line. It's unfortunate there by Matty Smith. And now here's Lister. Finds Denham back to the, the substitute. Millen. And four for unlucky. Lewis Millen. Corner kick again for the visitors as they apply the pressure. Looking for an equaliser. And it comes. Oh, and it's headed out there by. Well, it was the fourth for midfielder in the end, Peters. And now throws and search for that second goal. Templeman, good challenge there by Munro. And it just bobbles into the, the safe hands of Adam. Four for again, here's Denham and well, a coming together challenge there. Well, it's full time at Links Park. And it has indeed finished. 
Montrose 1, Forfar Athletic 0. The result itself sees Forfar remain top on 60 points due to Arbroath's 1-0 defeat against Edinburgh City. But the result, from a Montrose point of view, does see them go one point with an Elgin City, who occupy the fourth and final promotional playoff spot. So it's all to play for, with three games to go. Full-time score here at Lynx Park, Montrose 1, 4 for Athletic, nil.